Hello, and welcome back, you beautiful people. <laughs> Today's video, which I'm gonna assume you can read and you can tell by the title, is my springtime skincare routine. <laughs> so, it's March, uh, the official first day of spring is coming up, and my skin, this, this, whatever I've been doing, has been actually really helping, and you probably really can't tell, but it's doing really good, and I'm very happy about it. <laughs> Side note, I tried a scrunchie today, I tried the, um, you know, the scrunchie trend thing that is a, a thing, <laughs> and kind of digging it. I don't hate it. What do you think? I don't know. It's an original one from the 90s? The 90s. I've had this thing since I was a small child. So, I'm really authentic. <laughs> yeah, let's just uh, get on into that. So, my morning routine is very simple, very quick and easy. I have to wake up at like 5 or 6 a.m. in the morning, um, depending on what my shift is. And I don't do well waking up, so I try to make my like morning routine very short so that way then I get more time to sleep, which let's be honest, that's what we all want. So the first thing I do is I take this Physician's Formula Rosé All Day Oil Free Serum. Um, it's a baby bottle, it is very cute, very tiny, but um, it came in a like sample, tried these different kind of skincare things, like kit, and I picked it up, thought why not, I need to try some more, you know, skincare routine things. And it smells exactly, exactly, like roses, like they nailed it, like if you would put your face into a bouquet, that is what this is. It has not made my skin worse, which is awesome, because it's being oil free and my skin is very oily, it's definitely helped there, it hasn't made that situation worse. And it just feels really good, like, going on to the skin, in my opinion. <laughs> so that is what I use first. Then I put on a eye cream, and this one is the Lano Cream Nourishing Eye Cream. Uh, really good for the nourishing aspect, actually. Like, it is very nice for underneath your eyes, feels really good, but... I have a like a bag kind of problem and this does absolutely nothing for it so I think um, what I repurchase again no I'm gonna get one for um, like depuffing kind of thing that being said I have used like I don't know if you can tell but I have used like all of it almost I'm down to the end and it does actually nourish underneath your eyes very well I'm not mad at it just not what I wanted it to do and I probably should have read the packaging more before I picked it up so that's my own fault but yeah after I do those two things I put on like my primer and then my foundation and go through that whole routine so that's my morning only a two-step thing very simple for the nighttime I definitely have a more extensive skincare routine so pretty much what I end up doing is um, I use the I'm not gonna be able to pronounce this. I don't even know if you're gonna be able to read it. Oh, 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 Hendrickson. <laughs> I know I'm saying it wrong, but it's the Cold Plunge Pore Mask. And this thing is bright blue, okay? I don't know if you ain't gonna be able to like see it. It's like fluorescent blue when you put it on, and it's awesome. But um, again, this is kind of like just a little like child size thing that I got in something throughout my time. I don't honestly remember where I got this from. And I use this every other night, so I put it on before I get my shower. So I put on my mask and it's like 15 minutes I think you have to have it on? Yeah, 15 minutes. And you just leave it on and your face is like bright blue. <laughs> and I do that and then I would get into my shower and wash it off and go through the rest of the routine. <laughs> but yeah, I use this every other day. And I actually really like it. It hasn't... I've been using some other masks, which I don't like. Like, they've not reacted well to my face, and this has, so... 
I'm scared to actually see how much this would retail for because I feel like it would be a lot. I don't know. <laughs> but then for my face wash, I have the Bliss Fabulous Foaming Face Wash. And as you can probably tell from like the, I've used half of it already. I do actually really, really like this. It is a very gentle cleanser. It smells so good. Like I wish I could tell you what it smelled like. But it just, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Um... I did get this at work. It was on clearance. Um, we don't sell it there anymore, so I'm a little bummed about that. I guess I can always try to find it online, but it is a two-in-one cleanser and exfoliator. That being said, <laughs> I don't think it's more... It's not an exfoliator, okay? It just isn't. <laughs> uh, which is kind of... Which is fine, because I have one, which I'll talk about next. Ah. Uh, but it's definitely a very gentle cleanser, and it says that it's foaming, but it's really not. It's kind of just maybe a bubble slightly, but when you read, like, foaming, you think something, I don't know, foaming, like, bubbles, and it's really not. It's, but, um, very gentle cleanser. Amazing for, like, sensitive skin. It's been going well. So I'm very happy about that. <laughs> and then, actually, typically what I use before I cleanse, like, after I've washed off, like, the face mask, I will use this... Perfect eh? face scrub, um, which I don't know if you'll like really see that packaging, but I've used pretty much all half of this too. I got this at TJ Maxx actually. I don't really know where else I'd be able to. I guess online. What am I saying? You can find anything online, but um, this smells also really good. pomegranate and raspberry so I like to pick the nice smelling things <laughs> but this actually exfoliates so nice it is not like an aggressive one but like when I put it on I can actually feel like all that like dead stuff and excess makeup that didn't come off with all like my wipe it all like you can just you feel so clean after it which I thoroughly enjoy and um it has menthol in it so your face, like, literally, like, after you've washed it off, your face is just, like, cold. It's awesome. It's kind of, like, almost like a mouthwash, but for your face. You know what I mean? Like, I support this. <laughs> and then after I get out of the shower and before bed, I will put on a moisturizer before I go because I just need to. I actually thought because I was oily skinned that I didn't need to put on a moisturizer because I was trying to, like, dry out my face. Like, I don't need this oil. I need to get rid of the oil. I, I was very clearly wrong because since I started using like hydrating stuff and you know stuff that like cleans actually out my pores and my skin it's been going so nice and my face has gotten so much better but for like a moisturizer kind of thing I just started using this actually this was again in the same kit that had like this in it so it's a little baby trial size and it's the Olay Regenerist Whip and this also smells absolutely amazing. It kind of smells almost like a hair product. You know like when you go to a salon and there's that like just that salon smell? That's what this is. But I like it because I like the smell of salons. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just take a little dab and just put it over my face before bed and my skin makes up all nice and smooth and beautiful. I've never actually tried anything from Olay before, so this is my first kind of like skincare from that, because I think somewhere in my head I'm like, Olay is for old people, and um, I'm getting old, so now's my time for Olay. <laughs> Don't come for me. And then the last thing I do, which is less of a, like, I don't know, it's not a product you put on your face, but for the days that I'm not using this... After I'm done my shower and my face is all clean, I will use this Revive Light Therapy. And it's just this little thing and like this comes off and it just has like, can I show it? Woo! It's a blue light. It's a blue light therapy. Um, and you just literally just like sit it on your trouble spot. You turn on the light, you let it sit there for three minutes and then you move on to the next spot. And this is mainly for my acne, whereas like the rest of the stuff isn't so much acne related. But this is definitely if I was, listen, I was skeptical. I was skeptical as heck. But after like 
one, two uses of it, I was actually noticing a difference. Um, listen, you don't think a magical little light's just gonna shine on your face and just make your acne go away, but it helps. Especially during my hormonal acne outbreaks and all of that that happens. This little guy has toned them down quicker than what any of my, like, pimple, you know, make small kind of creams, any of that kind of stuff has ever done for me. So I'm really impressed. It's a bit pricey. I'm not going to lie on that. Um, but I think it's actually really worth the money. It has made my skin better. And I've actually noticed that. And I've started using this before any of the other products. So that's why I know that this is like, this is helping me out. Because I do. Um, actually, this whole kind of like system as a whole has really just helped out my skin in general. Um, my normal acne that I would get like day to day, like I'm honestly, I'm 23, turning 24 this year, and I still get acne like I did when I was 15. So, and I've been to a dermatologist, I've tried all of that stuff, and just never went away. But me doing all of the like serums and eye creams and face masks and exfoliators and moisturizers and light therapy has been working and my normal day-to-day -day acne, I'm down to like just scarring at this point. Like you probably honestly can't even see that well because my camera's not that great. But like down here is my trouble area. That is all my hormonal acne that comes out obviously during your time of the month. It flares up. It has its moments. It's violent, <laughs> but the system that I've been using has definitely helped tone it down quicker than anything else that I've been using. So I'm really, I think I found a really good combination. That being said, there are some things that I'll end up switching out, like I'll probably try a different face wash, maybe one more for acne, um, and definitely would get a different eye cream for bags underneath my eyes. But. I would totally repurchase this again, I would totally purchase this again, and this, like, most of this stuff I would repurchase again with the exception of, like, the eye cream. I just, it's there. I'm almost done with it. I just accepted the fact that I should just finish it till it's gone. I paid a lot of money for it, <laughs> so we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> but all the rest of the stuff was pretty much, like, sample sized or things that I got on clearance, but I did good. I did good. But I'm definitely looking to try out more name brand skincare stuff in the future. But yeah, so this is my springtime skincare routine and it's helped me out. I hope maybe if you're interested in trying any of these products, um, I'll try to find a link for them below that you can purchase online. I'll do my best. <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely recommend pretty much any of these, depending on what you're looking for. I am happy with what they've been doing. So yeah, if you are interested in anything like that, it'll be linked below. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I post. I do post every Monday now. And um, comment down below, what do you use? Like what kind of good new eye cream should I try? preferably a deep puffing one, but I'm definitely in the market for looking for another one. But yeah, so let me know, comment down below if there's anything that you think um, I should try or DIY. Also comment that down below, let me know. We'll definitely try to see if we can make that work. Um, I did get a request from Nick to have more of the bearded guy. Um, I'll do my best, I'm not sure. I think next week I can rope him into one, so get excited. <laughs> but yeah, so that's all. Um, I hope you have a good one. Enjoy. Have a good day. Enjoy the spring that has sprung. <laughs> and uh, yeah, keep things bye. Mm -mm. Honey, what are you doing? <laughs> and this is just a little like trial size thing. <laughs> because I have a bunch of these kind of tiles. Because I have a bunch. Oh my god. Why am I failing so hard today? Um, if you're, you know, if you, well, what is happening? What is happening? I really can't talk today again. Like, I stumble over my words so bad.